Hello there. This is Donna Reiners. Happy after Thanksgiving. I know a lot of people are at work today, <clears throat> but I've been waiting to share something with y'all. So last Sunday night, uh, Jennifer and I were rear-ended by a drunk driver. I've never been rear-ended by anyone before. I have been hit before, but not rear-ended by a drunk driver. We were on our way to a little birthday party, and, um, whew, and it was really out of the blue, completely out of the blue. I cannot tell you. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we were pushed so far in front that when I got out of my car to look behind, it was too far in front to, to walk back to the other vehicle. So we had to snake around to go back even to find the other vehicle to see what the condition was because the lights weren't on and that kind of thing. I'm not gonna go into too, too many details. I'm just telling you, <laughs> it was not pleasant to be rear-ended by a drunk driver. And it was very, very out of the blue, very odd, very strange. And I'm very, 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 very thankful that I'm not unconscious and I'm not dead and that my friend Jennifer is not unconscious and not dead. And I don't know why our lives were preserved. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, we were sitting still and we were slammed into. The witness said that he was behind the man who was swerving back and forth, back and forth, and then jumped a curb and slammed into us. <clears throat> And yes, we got looked at by the EMT and then we ended up going to the hospital that evening or late that night. We didn't get home till 4 a.m. after going to the pharmacy. So this is my point. <laughs> my point is I'm just really, really thankful. You know, we can find a lot of things to complain about. There's so many things that we can complain about. But I tell you what, it did an attitude adjustment in me. It's starting to rain while I'm standing here. <laughs> That's funny. I have an iPhone that's water waterproof. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> I'm so very thankful. And I'm already one who doesn't really like to complain, complain anyway, because God's really done a work in that part of me. But I'm thankful. I'm thankful I can walk. I'm thankful I can talk. I'm thankful that Jennifer can walk, that she can talk that we did not, um, that we could even have this conversation, that I could even do this. So I just want to encourage you today to just be thankful. Be thankful for every moment you have on the earth. Be thankful for the people that you're spending time with, even if they get on your last nerve. Be grateful they get on your nerves. Be grateful they get on your nerves. Be thankful that you can have a conversation with anyone today. I'm thankful to be alive. I'm thankful that I can walk. I'm thankful that I can talk. The man did not have a license. The man did not um, have insurance as far as we know. And he was taken to jail. But what God did in my heart was really a reminder that, that gratitude is a way of life. It's not just something you pick up and, oh, I'm going to be thankful today. Like we had Thanksgiving yesterday. That was awesome. I'm grateful one day a week, one day a year. But our Thanksgiving should be daily. Our Thanksgiving should be daily. Let's be thankful for the days that were completely inconvenienced. Let's be thankful. Let's be thankful that we can be inconvenienced. Be thankful you can be inconvenienced for that person in front of you that's getting on your nerves. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Because it could be very, very different. Just like that. Just like that. Out of the blue. Just like that. Out of the blue. What do you do with that? And I don't know why our lives were preserved. I'm just thankful. I know that there are some people whose lives don't aren't get aren't preserved there's some people that die in those wrecks there's some people that end up in the hospital there's some people that end up literally completely immobilized for the rest of their lives i don't know why our lives were not like that i just know i'm very very thankful today 
I'm very, very thankful today. I want to encourage you to be very, very thankful every day. To not just be thankful at Thanksgiving. To be thankful for the inconvenient times. Be thankful that you're tired. Be thankful that your family gets on your nerves. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Because it could be so, so very different. And I have noticed that gratitude is really a way of life. It, it is like a, it's a place in the thought, pro, in your thought processes that takes you into a place of believing. And not being thankful, not being grateful, complaining, criticizing, accusing, and those things literally take you in a, in a vein of unbelief. They take you away from believing in you, away from believing in the people around you, away from believing in God. They take you away from standing solid, standing solid in a place where you can uh, stand, where you can stand. Being thankful, being thankful, being grateful for the inconveniences, being grateful that you're sore, being grateful that you're tired. I know I'm ranting. I apologize. But there's so much to be thankful for. There's so much to be thankful for. There's so much to be thankful for. And it's for every day. Gratitude for every day. Thanksgiving for every day. For every moment you have breath, Thanksgiving. For every moment that you make a memory, Thanksgiving. 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 Turn that place inside of you that hates being inconvenienced, that doesn't like people complaining about you, that doesn't like accusation, that place inside of you that wants to react to those that seem to be against you, turn that place into a place of thanksgiving. Just turn it into gratitude. And I'm telling you, the attitude of gratitude, it seems like such a lame thing you want to put on your fridge, but that attitude of gratitude literally will take you into a place of beliefs, a belief system. Because being ungrateful, complaining, moaning, being inconvenienced, those things will take you into a strong place of unbelief. You can wake up five years from now and not know who you are or what you're doing on the planet if you allow yourself to move in that direction and stay in that direction. Because Thanksgiving is believing. Being grateful is believing. It's believing in you. It's believing in the people around you. It's believing in the God who created you. And it's a definite way to keep your heart in a righteous place in living, in living. And you know what? If we're in a righteous place in living, then we'll be in a righteous place when it comes to dying. Because complaining and accusing and criticizing and all those things that make us feel good because we feel like we've been had injustice or those kind of things, those attitudes bring torment. They bring torment. They bring torment. They bring torment. They bring torment. And they bring torment even in your dying days if you allow them to live inside of you every single day. So allow yourself to truly take on a place of being thankful and let Thanksgiving root out the routes inside of you, the roots inside of you that have allowed you to complain and mourn and gripe. And some of these things, I'm just going to go on. Some of these things are long-standing. Listen, we all know people who have lost people who have passed before us. And sometimes there's a place inside that still mourns and still grieves so deeply and so strongly so strongly that it takes you into a place of not believing anymore, not being strong anymore, but being tormented by the grief and tormented by the mourning, by the sadness, tormented. And listen, if you allow yourself to be thankful for any moment you have with that person who passed on, if you allow yourself to move into a place, even today, if it was five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years ago, if you allow yourself 
Let God do a deep work inside of you of thanksgiving, even in the place where you've lost someone. Or maybe there's a child or someone who's run away from home and they're not there. Being thankful, being grateful. That will root out, that will root out the unbelief that surrounds that trauma, that surrounds that memory. And you can find yourself believing again and trusting again and perhaps having joy again because joy is supposed to be our portion. It's supposed to be our portion. Am I glad that drunk driver went to jail? I don't know that I am. My prayer for him was, God, find him in the jail. Find him in the jail. Let him see that you love him. Correct those things inside of him that caused him to want to get drunk in the first place. Correct those things that harmed him, that caused him to run into alcohol and let alcohol be his friend. That's my prayer for him. That's my prayer for him. I'm not accusing him. I can't. Because we all have hurts and we all have pains and they come out of us in different ways. So instead, I'm thankful. <laughs> I'm just, th I'm thankful he lived, that he could go to jail. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm thankful today. What are you thankful for? <laughs> Make yourself a list today. Be thankful. I'm thankful that this little red truck <laughs> is my rental car <laughs> until my car gets fixed in December. I'm thankful that we could get it repaired. I'm thankful we had insurance. I'm thankful that I'm alive and walking. I'm thankful. So I just encourage you today to take on thankfulness, maybe for the areas where you've criticized or complained or moaned and groaned. And if God wants to make a change, listen, if you're in a place of thanksgiving, he can talk to you about the change he wants you to make. If you're in a place where you're not supposed to be and God wants you out of there, maybe you've been in a place for so long that you just think that's all there is. Listen, he may want to move you, but he can move you without you complaining about it. You might be feeling a nudge into something and it causes you to complain on the inside, but yet God's just saying, hey, look, I just want to make a change in your life. There's so many ways that God speaks to us, but I, I don't believe he speaks to us through complaining and moaning and groaning. I believe that takes us into unbelief. Anyway, I bless you today. I pray, God, I just pray. I pray for all of us, Father. God, I pray that you would do a strong work inside of us, Lord. God, for my spirit alive in Christ, I just release thanksgiving. Thanksgiving into all of us, Father. Thanksgiving into the places inside of us where we've been turned down, where we've been knocked around, where we've been beat up and abused, where we've been used. God, I, I pray you just cause each one of us to just awaken in that place and be alive in that place and see the goodness of God in the land where we're living and let the goodness of God lead us out of that, that specific place until we can see the dawn of a new day in that area. I bless y'all today. I know this is impromptu, <laughs> but I felt like it was time time to be thankful every day until the day we move into the next realm and there I think we'll be thankful too hey this is a new day let me show you the sun coming up it was raining on me just a few minutes ago isn't that pretty praise the Lord praise the Lord <laughs> until soon this is Donna Reiners bye-bye